you know what time it is you read the title you know it's about to go down i'm not ready for this this is about to take so long i hope you're ready sit back relax because i'm about to go through every single book that I read in 2021. This past year I've read over 100 books. I don't have the exact number, so if you wanna count throughout this video, then I guess you can. I'm probably gonna forget so many because I only have what my book journal tells me I read. If I didn't book journal a book, I forget it happened. I'm gonna try to remember everything in order, starting from the first book I read. Problem is though, my books are stacked like this because I live in a teeny tiny apartment, don't have room for bookshelves, so they're just pushed up against my wall. So I'm going to have to deconstruct this wall in order to get to the books that I want to show because most of them are at the bottom because I read them a year ago. So I'm going to have to go right now and kind of rearrange all these piles into probably a giant mess, which sucks, but I'm moving anyway. So it's gonna have to happen eventually, but I really wanna show you every book I've read in order. I hope you're excited. Sit back, relax, grab a snack. I don't think I'm gonna explain any books in this video. I'm simply gonna hold them up, give you the title and the author and put it down and just do that for every single one. And then if it was like a five-star read or something special to me, I'll say it. But other than that, I'm just gonna Hold it up and go. What is the sun doing? I'm literally blind. Why is the sun shining right on me like that? The first book I was able to find. This is exactly where my 2020 recap ended. If you didn't know, I started my channel about a year ago or I started like actually posting on my channel about a year ago. So thank you so much to everyone that has joined in the past year. Thank you. Like what but right where that video ended which is one of the first book videos i posted on this account i ended that video saying i'm starting 2021 reading red white and royal blue and it has felt like years since i've read this book i can't believe that this was the first book i finished in 2021 i finished it on new year's day and this is a five star read so it was a great start to the year then i read a series the Like Us series by Chris and Becca Ritchie, which is a spin-off to the Addicted Callaway Sisters series. This is nine books. There's actually 10 books in this series, but I only have nine. This is what I spent my January doing. Then I read Beach Read by Emily Henry, a classic. Love this book. Guys, my book wall literally just collapsed and crushed me. It literally all just fell on me. <laughs> This is a horrible way to do this, so let me figure myself out. That did not go as planned at all, but it had to happen either way, so. Now I have random stacks, random books thrown everywhere. Um, the next books I read was Interference and Stealing Home by Harlow Cole. This is a duet. I enjoyed it. Then I read Top Secret. Then I read The Simple Wild, which I love this book so much. Then I read The Crush by Penelope Ward, brother's best friend. Hate the cover. Then I read Playing With Fire. This is before I heard everything about LJ Shen, and I haven't read a book by her since, but. Then I read Dirty Letters by Vi Keeland and Penelope Ward. Board. Then I read The Song of Achilles, which became my favorite book of all time. I literally have a tattoo dedicated to it. Anytime someone asks me my favorite book, this is what I tell them. Then I read Bright Side by Kim Holden. So sad, but so good. I still need to read the rest of this series. Then I read Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan, which is one of my five-star reads. Another favorite. Love it so much. Okay, next I read Him us and epic it's a hockey romance trilogy then i read full tilt and all in by emma scott which became five star reads immediately so good so sad underrated and everyone deserves to read these in their lifetime after that i needed something like not depressing and i was recommended bad habit by charlie rose which i know is my friend ellie's like favorite series ever it's not very memorable to me i don't really remember it to be honest but i know it's brother's best friend she sent me the next book in the series so i might have to give a reread in 2022 so i could read the rest of the series so i could really enjoy it but yeah i remember it being set in phoenix arizona which is like where i live so i thought that was cool then i read the problem of forever by jennifer l armentrout and then i got into my maria zapata phase this is the first year i ever read anything by her and then i read like everything she's ever written so first i started off with the wall of winnipeg and me five stars and then from lugov with love which i also really really love and then i read second first impressions by sally thorne because i loved her other two books but i wasn't the biggest fan of this one then i read the selection series by kara cass i did a reading vlog on this as well so you can go watch that to get my full opinions but i can't believe that i never read this as a child just picked it up at the ripe age of 19 so that was that oh uh, then i went to hawaii and these are the books i brought with me and read there so i wanted to bring like summer vibes so i read heart books by Colleen Hoover. Amazing summer vibes. Incredible book. And I read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Again, amazing vacation vibes and an incredible book. <laughs> then I read Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. I didn't realize this was a series, so I picked up the rest of the series later in the year, so I'll come back to that. But then I read The Full and You series by Maya Hughes. This is four books, football, sports, romance, set in college, and I loved it. Then I read Culty by Marianne Zapata. It's so funny because I remember exactly where I was this summer as I read each of these books. Like, 
taking me back so nostalgic. Then I read Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I love this book so much. Please read it. Then I read Tristic's Venom by Penelope Douglas. Then I read Confess by Colleen Hoover. I remember reading this on the subway in New York City. <laughs> Another book stacked down. So those weren't leaning against the wall, I forgot. I'm really scared to talk about this because I know it has a lot of fans, but I've mentioned my stance on this series before, but this was what I spent all of June reading. I read Lessons in Corruption, Welcome to the Dark Side, Good Gone Bad, Fallen Sun, after the Fall, Inked in Lies, and Dead Man Walking. I don't have all of them, but this is the Fallen Men series by Gianna Darling. They're motorcycle club romances, they're dark romances, and most of them are age gap. I didn't like them. I mean, I liked them, but I didn't enjoy or love them. Like, they weren't god awful. A lot of them just didn't sit right with me. A lot of these have huge age gaps, which usually I don't care about, and I don't judge people that do enjoy them. It's fiction, but it made it hard for me to read. Put me in a biggest slump. I only read this series, like, all of June. Now it's huge on TikTok talk and that's why I like don't want to like hate on it because I know a lot of people love it but to each their own it's very 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 smutty and maybe that's why I don't love it because you know I don't really love that <laughs> But a series that is kind of similar to that that I actually loved that I read, let me gather all the books. The Born and Blood Mafia series, which is dark mafia romance books. These are the ones I read. I read Bound by Honor, Luca Vidiello, Bound by Duty, Bound by Hatred, Bound by Temptation. I then stopped reading because I didn't have any more of the physical copies and I read these in New Jersey and like I was buying them as I was there and I was like, I need to stop buying them because I need to fly home and my suitcase can be too heavy. So I had to cut myself off. But those are the ones I read and I've never gone back to it, which I need to because I've heard incredible things about the rest of the series and while these ones like I didn't give them like five stars or they're addicting then I read the kiss quotient by Helen Huang great book and after that I read well met not my favorite but you win some you lose some <laughs> ah, then I read the Spanish love deception I love this book so much five stars and then I read shipped which one of my least favorite books this year did not love it but then I read most of all you by Mia Sheridan so 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 good underrated. Then I read Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, also amazing. Okay, then I read Twisted Love and Twisted Games by Anna Huang. I love these and I can't wait for Twisted Hate that comes out like this month, I think. Then I read The Summer Broken Rolls, which so good, so cute, great summer vibes. Then I reread The Deal because Off Campus started trending on TikTok and I hadn't read it in years, so I gave it a reread. Then I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I vlogged it and I cried and I loved it. And then right after that, Daisy Jones and the Sixth, same thing. In Incredible, five stars, amazing. Then I read Not Pretending Anymore by Vi Keeland and Penelope Ward. I never hear anyone talk about this, but it's really good, forced proximity, friends to lovers. Then The Friend Zone. I need to read the rest of the series as well. It's companion novels. And then obviously I was missing some Mariana Zapata and I read Wait For It and became one of my favorite books by her. It's incredible, please read it. Then I read It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, Grumpy Sunshine. I was back in my Martin's Potter phase and I read All Roads Lead Here. My best friend is reading this right now, so it's been bringing back all my memories, but this one is very good. Single dad trope, slow burn, forced proximity, amazing. Then I read Marriage for One, which is one of my faves. So cute, so good, marriage of convenience. Then there was another miss for me, which was A Wish for Us by Tilly Cole. Not my favorite. Tilly Cole wrote A Thousand Boy Kisses, which is one of my favorite books of all time. And then she also wrote this, which I didn't love as much. I gave it, I think, two and a half stars so then I read Neon Gods by Katie Robert because I saw it all over TikTok super steamy but it's a Hades and Persephone retelling which was super cool then the legacy came out and I read it <laughs> I don't know what to say about that then I read the cheat sheet which was super cute friends to lovers just a fun read then I read to love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays nothing bad to say ah, then I read the fine print by Lauren Asher read it in one sitting so good read it back to Mariana Zapata I read Luna and the Lie super super slow burn I'm pretty sure they don't even like look in each other's direction for like half the book <laughs> still good nonetheless like once they're finally together and like the development of their relationship and the slow burn and the build-up then I read the maid series which is mafia romance again was obsessed with the first one loved the second one wasn't a fan of the third one kind of put me in a slump so yeah read those then i read the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood it really did get the hype but it is really good and really cute then i read fix her up by tessa bailey oh no my battery is blinking okay let me hurry then i read the dirty air series by lauren asher which are race car driving sports romance so so good i love her writing and i love her characters and i really recommend this series it was super good then i actually picked up two classics pride and prejudice and weathering heights so i could annotate them so i kind of like went through them and just like annotated what i Already knew because I read these in high school but I basically reread them because I went through all of them so I consider that reading <laughs> um my camera died but I'm filming the rest on my phone because I'm not waiting for my battery to charge because the sun is gonna set 
so the rest of this video is gonna be filmed on my phone hopefully that's okay <laughs> um but the next book i read was why men love bitches this is the worst book i've ever read in my entire life um it's a dating advice book i had to read it for one of my classes i don't recommend it when I was in my slump though, I started picking up some like random poetry books. Like I read Pillow Thoughts and The Strength in Our Scars. I think it's a poetry book. I don't really know, but it's like long. It's not like short poems, but this one's really, really good. If you are trying to move on from something, get over something. And then I read The Mountain Is You. This is a book about self-sabotage and like how to stop doing that. Then I read I Temporarily Do, Friends to Lovers, Marriage of Convenience, except they're in college. So it's like a little bit different. Like they're younger. It is only December 26th when I'm filming this. So I'm probably gonna read two more books before the year ends, but I'm not sure what they're gonna be. So I'm just not gonna include them. So yeah, those are all of the books I read in 2021. I think I definitely missed so many, but you can go back to my other reading wrap ups and like see what I read, but. I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I'm not gonna enjoy putting all these books away, but it was worth it. I can't believe this is my second time doing this video, which means I've been doing YouTube for like a whole year, like seriously. I hope you guys have a great new year. If you have any resolutions, leave them in the comments. I hope you're all staying safe, happy, healthy. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. If you wanna like keep up with my travel and my move, then you can follow me on there. But I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.